morning dear teachers and my dear nazarenes it gives me great joy to address you on this day as we begin our academic year i hope that all of you are safe and sound one more year on our side giving us more opportunities to grow in giving and receiving there was a high expectation that we would see each other in our school campus at least this year but unfortunately we are unable though it is a very painful it is preferably to be safe nazareth family always waits for you with open arms to receive you all under her wings you are always there in our minds and in our hearts and we fondly remember you in our prayers in a particular way i take this opportunity to welcome the new teachers and the students to our nas family when i think of the school the word that comes to my mind is growth growth in all aspects physical emotional intellectual spiritual and psychological never stops student life is the most important and golden period of growth it is the time when your character is built the father of our nation gandhi ji says live as if you were to die tomorrow learn as if you were to live forever why do you think He recommends this is because we human beings are not meant to stop growing and learning even though our time on earth is limited lifelong learning is a key to success in today's fast paced world if you don't keep learning you are not standing still you are falling behind all the people who are committed to lifelong learning have several traits in common they are humble they admit what they don't know this is the first step in learning what they need to know how does a man spend 27 years in prison put there by an oppressor and come out of that experience with not a heart of stone not a cold heart but a heart that is willing to forgive and embrace how is there no bitterness I have a limited time to stay on earth you must try and use that period for the purpose of transforming your country into what you desire it to be and therefore you had to reject all negative features in your own soul in your blood system and focus your attention on the positive things they are intellectually curious they truly want to learn and find learning fun interesting and stimulating they see life as a journey in which they are constantly learning so now what do you see in the slide in the back can you tell me impossible right okay good now what do you all see <laughs> thank you <laughs> and awesome and that's exactly what i want to share with you all today how i turn the word impossible into i'm possible in my life by following four simple steps step 1 find your passion 2 Never hold yourself back. Step three, help others. And last but not least, dream big. Know that no matter what happens in your life, you should never, ever give up on your passion. Everyone in this world goes through struggles of some sort. And I know, because I, for one, have to deal with constant fractures and lots of pain. But I believe... that if i can turn impossible 
into I'm possible in my life, you can too. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. And I firmly believe that if you push forward and have faith, you will make it big anywhere in life. They are adapters. They are open to adapt to new technology and new ways of thinking. They keep learning to stay ahead. They are willing to try new stuff. They experiment and see what works. When things work, they use them. They are not afraid to fail. They see failure as an opportunity to learn. They use failure as stepping stones to other experiments. Abraham Lincoln was born in a small one-room cabin. His family was very poor and had to move several times, so his childhood was far from perfect. He faced failures and disappointments throughout his whole life. His life was filled with failures, disappointments and defeat. But he decided to never give up. He was born in poverty. He lost his mom. He lost his job. He lost eight elections. He failed twice in business. After many losses, many rejections, many disappointments, many failures, he was selected as President of the United States. His success story is a living proof that you can be born with no advantages and fail many times, but still achieve amazing things and actually make a difference. Dear students, don't underestimate your abilities, talents, capacities and intelligence. Use this year as an opportunity to maximize your potential by your hard work and dedication to make lasting impact in your lives and contribute to the lives of others. Realize that whatever you become and whatever you accomplish is fruit of your efforts to grow. My dear Nazarians, I wish you all God's blessings upon you and your families. 
may you have a successful year ahead god bless you all thank you